Hello everyone, welcome back to another informative video. So we are taking a look at cucumbers. Now, these cucumber plants that you are looking, they, they are obviously sick, They're very sick. Now we are going to walk through step by step and diagnose what is happening, right? Now, first of all, in diagnosing what is happening, you have to understand that there is a part of the plant that is exposed to um, the atmosphere um, above ground and then you have a part of a plant that is exposed to um, below ground more like the rhizosphere put it that way so we have to whenever we are diagnosing an issue we have to look at both um, both sides right so let us first take a look at the, the aerial part of a plant now the aerial part we are going to look at the vines and the leaves right so let us take a look at the vine at the leaves first now as you can see this leaf is suffering from both magnesium deficiency and potassium right you can see the 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 the, the, the chlorosis on the edge of the leaf and you can also see intervenal chlorosis and this is happening <coughs> on the the old leaves as well as the young leaves so what i've in previous videos that i've made i've spoken about progression of nutrient deficiency if you spot a nutrient deficiency in its early stage then you can actually kind of specifically say what nutrient deficiency it is but if you allow it to progress then it progress to all of a plant then it would be more difficult because it is not only um confined to whether younger leaves or older leaves but it is basically taking over the entire plant however this looks like magnesium deficiency and it has taken magnesium and potassium deficiency and it has taken over all the plant so right there we know we have nutrient deficiency problem affecting the the, the plant itself what else can we see we are seeing some spots and these spots are basically becoming necrotic like it, it can be fungal issue um, as well as I'm seeing where the leaves they are also eggs basically right I'm seeing where eggs are on the leaf so that means we have some form of insect putting holes in the leaves as well right so which, which would be these these can be um, like shot hole effect. So we have insect issue causing damage to the leaf. We have fungal issue which is down in mildew and we have nutrient deficiency so far. Now, um, if we walk through, we can see that the plants, they just look um, terrible. Right? They look really terrible. Um, these plants are suffering from um, micronutrient deficiency as well. Um, we are getting a lot of mottled leaf. Right, look at this mottling taking place. And mottling can be due to um, boron deficiency, right? And as you can see, um, the plants they just look unhealthy um, if we pull down one of the vines let us take a closer look right I'm seeing some I'm seeing some green stuff right look at look at those green stuff on the leaf see them right right here these look like aphids look at that that is a worm that is a worm so i was right something was definitely laying eggs and they become larva and then the worms start to feed and that is what is giving you a lot of holes in these leaves as well and you could not have seen this unless you are doing proper scouting so what is also happening here is that aphids are sucking insects and what is that means that they populate they, they, they are all over the plant so they're basically sucking let me see if i can get this leaf 
break this off. Right, they are basically sucking this stuff off the plant, all over the plant, and cause it causing weak, weakening of the plant. Right? Look at that. Look at that. That those are pure aphids on the leaf. So we not only have worms, so worms would be would would, would have more like a biting effect on the leaves. And the aphids would basically have a sucking effect um, on the leaves, right? Let me see if I can put this in more light so you can see. Right? There they are. There they are. Those are aphids. Right? Pure aphids on the leaves. So you can imagine how the, you can imagine the population within the greenhouse. Because if you look on one leaf, look at that, pure aphids, right? So they are actually sucking this up from these plants, right? Sucking all the sugars, robbing the plants of what it should get. Hence the plant gets weaker because it, it is not getting enough resource to strengthen itself. It gets weaker and the leaves themselves uh, become deformed as well, right? leaves themselves become deformed as well so earlier i talked about the micronutrient deficiency that can cause mottled leaves but the aphids can cause the, mot the mottled leaf as well because the aphids are actually sucking the, the, the leaf cells up and causing those cells to die and causing the the plant to the leaves to get wrinkled or mottled also so we have a lot of um aphids and worms causing damage to the leaf right and once you are damaging the leaf the leaves are basically the what i would say the production factory for the plant because if the leaves are not healthy how then is is it going to trap sunlight and convert it efficiently to sugars for the cucumbers tell me right so as you can see, that, that you are seeing there, a lot of fungal spores is on that. So that is basically left to be spread to all of the house. So we are, we are seeing fungal issues, we are seeing insect issues, we are seeing nutrient deficiency issues. Now, that basically does it for the, um, the part of the plant that is exposed to the atmosphere, right? Above ground. Now let us look below ground now. Let us look below ground. Now I have gone ahead and pull away some gravel from the roots because when we go below ground we're basically looking on the roots. So I've gone ahead and I've pulled away some of the the gravel from off the roots. And guess what I saw? Guess what I saw? Look. Look what is this? What is this? What is this on the roots? What is this on the roots? Nematode. Nematode infection. Uh, nematode infection. How strong the plant is to fight off certain pests has become, has reduced, it has gotten weakened. Because the nematodes, they have infested the roots. So the plant cannot take up as much water and nutrients that it needs to, 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 to develop its fruits and to develop the leaves and to develop the vine. Right? So the plant is being attacked from both ends, both in the rhizosphere or below the ground, where the roots are, and above ground. So below the ground they are being um, antagonized by nematode. So right now that is why these cucumber plants are looking like this. That is why they are not growing as how we want them to grow. Right? So right here, we have figured out the issues that need to be corrected. So, number one, above ground, potassium and magnesium deficiency and micronutrients as well. Um, then we have aphids. Then we have the worms then we have um, below ground we have nematode 
Right, yeah, so that is why these plants are looking so weak and that could be the reason why they are having the nutrient deficiency as well because they are not able to pull up the amount of nutrients that they need because they are restricted by these damn nematodes because what the nematodes do is that they they go into the roots and they start to reproduce there and they feed and by feeding they basically release certain um, chemicals right and so on that cause the you'll see the bulging of the of the of the roots right um, and what that does is it blocks off the the flow of water and nutrients right um, up and down up, up from the roots to the to, 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 to the leaves and to the vines and to the cucumbers and so on so that is what is happening here right so obviously this growing mix this this gravel needs to be sterilized and these plants will have to be just repotted and re contain them and um, then throw them away sad to say these plants here these are young plants beside the infested ones so you know what is happening there i don't even need to go through and tell you you might find that these plants i i can just look at them now and i know that they are just they are struggling too they are struggling right they are struggling and um i find that the struggle that they are struggling is causing them to even produce start producing flowers quicker than normal right so this is not good right to have the old plants that is infested with the young ones right um if it was me i would have basically taken out these long time because these are not going anywhere these have nowhere to go these have nowhere to go and you find that the the nematodes in the gravel might be in this one too because it's like a recirculating system that is one of the negatives with hydroponics yeah, when you have a recirculation system if you catch something you, you guarantee that the tank that it is in will need need to be st um sterilized the the, the 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 canals will need to be sterilized as well so um yeah i would have removed these before i planted the young ones but um yeah this is just something for you to understand and learn so we have diagnosed the issue right now as i said i would sterilize the gravel needs to be sterilized um the main tank that the water is coming from needs to be sterilized uh there needs to be um more potassium um i, I wouldn't even say had more nutrients i would just say take care of the 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 the, the nematode by sterilizing the gravel and the and the main tank and then um plant back new plants and just use the same nutrient mix to see uh you know if the plants will look better because this is basically the same nutrient mix that has been used over and over which give good production so um i'd have to say that it is it is the nematode infection that is causing the plants not to be taking up the required nutrients and so on and, and show and, and causing deficiency right um but i would still need to uh, i would still because i've been coming here a while and um, i've seen i've been watching the cucumbers and when it reaches their productive generative stage they start showing magnesium um, and potassium deficiency I, i've i've taken picture of that before because i've been watching it so i know that um it's not only the nematode but even with the absence of nematode you find that when the plants start producing you might have to bump up um different type of nutrients and in the cucumber case it's the magnesium and the potassium right and that's generally how it goes you feed a you feed a certain recipe or a certain mix to the vegetative stage of a plant then when it reaches generative stage you definitely have to tweak some some of the nutrients to increase it because the plant is now producing fruits or whatever and it's going to demand more right of of, of certain um nutrients so that's it i hope you understand this reasoning um if you have any questions any comments please put them in the comments here and please subscribe to my channel bye bye